Hey, hi there everyone. Just recently I watched this Netflix documentary called The Social Media Dilemma and it actually got to me quite a bit because I was aware that um, the way that Facebook and Google operate is, is obviously not right. But I was not really um, so much um, aware of that how, how far the whole thing goes and and what you know how persuasive the whole thing is and what kind of impact this has already and I feel that us working in social media need to reflect this more so the first thing I, I I'd say to everyone please go and watch it and then lean back and then join the discussion um, I called this blog um, the sort of revolution that eats its children because I learned in school that the French Revolution, uh, the guys that pushed for it actually ended up on the guillotine in the end. So I'm not sure whether this is going to happen to the social media likes, but in a way the idea behind it is that if you push uh, for this all this persuasion and all that, to that degree that you actually kill the the basis of your business model. Um, when I started working in in public public relations, just to tell you a little story about this, there was someone who told me that in consumer health over the counter public relations recently, journalists had been given away laptops, big thing at the time, obviously quite expensive, and. Um, in a way, this meant that uh, th this meant actually corruption. So you can actually give up on your public relations efforts if you actually bribe people. So in a way, if you push so hard for your limits in your business that you actually dissolve the the ground that you stand on, then you lose. So I just wanted to bring that over to you guys to start thinking about it, because I do think social media are, are important. They have a, a place in this world, but you slowly need to rein them in. And especially in development cooperation, where you have one part of the people who don't want to have anything to do with social media, that hardly press the like button because they know it's traceable, because they know their boss might be seeing that. And so they think the, the organization, uh, you know, better don't touch it because you you never know how they actually how the bosses feel about this. So you have those kind of people that are very hesitant, which is too bad in a way. And then you have a lot of people um, that sort of go on about anything possible, Facebook, all sorts of advertisement, anything possible. So that's also not good. So we need to find a way to clarify how in development cooperation we want to use social media in the future. Thank you very much.